What up, big kids? We are doing our live uh, unboxing from Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link for so much more. And yeah, it's a big unboxing. And um, yeah, you can see this Mamma Gemma right here. This is what we're unboxing today. It's, it's so big. That's what she said. <laughs> no, but uh, or he said. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing uh, this live on the air, of course, but I'll also be answering your questions both on um, YouTube and Instagram. So hello to all you people out there, and Instagram is always a little harder because it's on my phone, and they only let you do like an hour at a time, which is weird. And this video is not sponsored by Starbucks, but I wish it was. Mm. And also sponsored by Awesome blades uh box cutters and you can see uh these boxes on the side you can't see it on the instagram video but on the youtube video bunch of boxes from other hot toys i i'm going to review um some cool stuff um um you cubicus uh they they sent me some stuff that i'm gonna do a live um review uh unboxing of those and bb8 and um I got a bowl here. Sorry, I just have to move this because this is irritating me right now. Okay. Chewy is also here. Um, good afternoon, Luke and Creed. Um, Chewy's also here. He is near my legs. You, you can't see him right now, well, but I am happy to show him real quick. He'll be joining me periodically. Say hi, Chewy. Hi. Hi. I'm a corgi, and I just like to be near daddy when he unboxes toys. He loves me more than toys, and that's saying something. Mm. Love you, Chewy. Look. Oh, boy. So, yeah, let's get to... Uh, now, this thing that I got from Big Bad Toy Store, I did pay for most of it, but I had some store credit, and it's something I've been wanting for a long time. A show a long time. So if you guys know what that is, then... You won't be surprised. So let's just get to it. Oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna. Ugh. Oh my God. This thing is heavy. Ugh. I think. I don't even know how possibly I can really unbox this this well. Hey, Mog. Okay. So hey, Jose, Leo, Nancy. Um, yeah. So hi, everyone. Let me try to unbox this the best I can. I don't want this on me anymore than I do. Plus, this chair makes it a little hard to really have this on top of me. Oh my God. It feels like I have like a petite woman on me. It's like a wish, but I'll have to do with this. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh yeah. So this is gonna be like a triple, I have to unbox a box went in a box. So let's start. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. So, okay, so it's in a slightly smaller box. Oh my god, Jesus. This is gonna be my workout for today. Luckily, oh man. So now we're at the second box, which is the actual box. And if you can kind of read the comments and uh, Instagram make it hard, but you can kind of see it here. Yeah. So let's just get to it. What could this huge uh, figure be? There's a few guesses, but like I said, if you guys know and they're watching me, even knowing how much I've been wanting this, oop, I am not good at staying in the line. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna hold on guys. This is not like a typical unboxing or just like oh yeah, so many so many boxes. Yeah. I'm gonna do this in the background here so that we can see how big this is my bed, which is right here. Yeah, you can see this. Yeah. Wow. 
where my power range is PJ pants because why not be comfortable you did? Oh my god, it's beautiful. You can kind of see it in the YouTube video. Can't really see it on Instagram, but let's just pull it out. That's what he said. Or she's oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so now you can see by now what it is. And I'm gonna do my best to not break it. Take it out of the box. Holy crap. Okay. All right. Oh my God, this plastic. See how big it is? Jesus. Look at that, you guys. Yes, it's no secret. We're unboxing today the Hot Toys Hulkbuster from Avengers Age of Ultron. I've been waiting for this guy for years. Finally got it. Saved up some money for it, sold some stuff. I'm still selling stuff, which I will have a video in the next day or two of all the things I'm selling. So here, let me put this other box in a box. It's just, I have like, gonna have like three huge boxes. Oh my God, this is so ridiculous right now. Okay, well, let me try to consolidate space so my room is not like, Top boxes. Okay. Let me close this up. Okay. Now let's take out. Oh my god. Yes. All right. Where is the? Okay. So let's take off this plastic. Show off the packaging. Oh my god. I'm gonna turn on the fan. That's how much of a workout it's been. It's only late February, but it's already starting to feel like summer weather. It goes from like being in California really chilly to like really warm in the course of like 24 hours. Sometimes even cold. All right. So let's take a look. Um, this is a mostly styrofoam box. Um, it has a beautiful picture of the Hulkbuster with the Avengers A logo right here. It says Avengers Age of Ultron. It has a big plastic wrap on the back. More of the Avengers A logo. It's really hard to see, but there's a big old warning. Warning, you want to choke on your Hulkbuster. What are you talking about? You probably, you'll probably like just fall in your foot and like kill you because that's how big and heavy this thing is. So let's take off the sleeve if we can. Is there anything attached to them? Can... Okay, I gotta figure out the best way to do this. Okay, now time to slip it off. Oh my god, I swear. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man, I'm trying not to break anything. Only problem with, I've dealt with Hot Toys doing stuff like this with their styrofoam sleeve. Like the, if you remember the Terminator Salvation figures that were reviewed many years back, they had a similar thing. I understand styrofoam is just easier than dealing with the, the cardboard and plastic. You need styrofoam to make sure it's like, you know, not going to break. But it's not the easiest to take off your slip cover oh my god seriously i feel like it's going to take like just a half hour just to take this out of the box let alone you know look around at it uh, okay let's take a little, little break <laughs> oh my gosh hi hi this is the watch sean struggle to open a, a hot toys hulk buster yeah oh boy okay so hey it's joe Hi, Jacob, uh, Nancy, yeah, Adam, what's up? Okay, just, oh, okay, we almost got it, yes. This is why it's good to do this on the bed, because you don't have to worry about breaking it. Oh my God. I swear, doing push-ups and pull-ups is not nearly as strenuous as taking off this box thing. Cause it's like 30 pounds on top of okay so oh my god 
So the next step, this is what you have to deal with if you ever buy one of these, or if you bought this, you know. So it says, um, Iron Man Hulkbuster, or, yeah. Well, the, it's really cool how they do that. And then it has the cast and crew and me, this amazing figure right here. And let me, now this is where, uh, now this is where, take my box cutter, cut along. Make sure, be very careful. Okay. Ooh, boy. Okay. So this, as I'm guessing, yep. This is, let's look at the uh, accessories first, since I should. So you get your detailed instruction manual. These, as I remember, you put on a leg of your Mark 43, because you can, if you didn't know this, you can fit the Hot Toys diecast Mark 43 inside here. If you want to make a, a heavy figure even more heavy, <laughs> and you just, yeah, you want to, use your whole buster as an anchor for your small boat, <laughs> then there you go. But yeah, detailed instruction manual, so I'll be looking at. Ooh, okay, so let's take a look. So this is cool. I mean, I don't even know if I'll get to putting the batteries on camera, but I'll try. So this, if you don't have the Mark 43, they include a bus of the Mark 43, which has head artic articulation. And of course you really only see the figure from like this point up, both in the movie and um, you know, um, in the actual figure. So if you don't feel like dealing with putting your Mark 43 or you wanna display it separately from your Hulkbuster, it's really cool that they include this. This also has lights and um, I don't think it's installed. No, it's not. So I'm going to have to install, it'll probably take me like an hour just to install all the batteries in there. So I probably won't do it on camera. I'll, I'll, I'm For people wondering, I'm going to do both a quickie and a regular long review of this guy because he deserves it. This is a, this, this figure deserves a nice lengthy review. So I will do a more traditional review uh, of that. But yeah, oh my God, this is, it's gonna be something. So, okay. So let's take a look. So you also get. Um, I guess you can. Um, you attach this to your Mark Forty Three. It's like. It's like the the inner armor. So that's really cool. And where do we even begin? So, <laughs> okay. Now. We have the um, the gauntlets. Unfortunately, Hot Toys didn't include a jackhammer uh, fist like we saw in the movie. But you know, with everything you get and and the fact you fit the Mark Forty Three, it, it's okay. So here's the gauntlets. They have a whole bunch of like movable parts, as you can see here. Wow, I really have to read the instructions, but I know it's like. Lots of moving parts, and if you want to display them with the, uh, yeah, I don't think is there a left. Oh wow, is uh, I I I think it's like yeah. So that's right. So yeah, I I believe. Crap, I forgot which one was left or right. I don't know if they say which one, but oh yeah, they they have an F. Okay, that's cool. It has an R and an L. Which always helps. I love when Hot Toys does that. And more pieces. This is like stuff you attach to your Hulkbuster. And then even more pieces. Like I'm guessing like I don't know if I'll be able to show everything on camera today. But because I just want to unbox this. This is an undertaking in itself. So. So. All together, if you don't count the Hulkbuster in itself, if you count the instructions and the pair of leg, um, like the pants that protect it, hey, hey, Coram, what's up? I miss Coram. Um, then you pretty much get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different pieces. So, okay, so we we went through that. Those are the accessories, which is good about accessories. 
like I said, um, I know some people would like the jackhammer arm, but um, yeah, maybe they'll do it for a, an add-on pack like they did with the workshop. Who knows? They'll, they'll probably do that. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh, okay, I was wrong. There's even more pieces, so oh my god, look how beautiful this guy is, you guys. Look how big he is. This is even more. This is my first time that's not at a at Comic Con seeing the whole Western in person. Like I haven't, like I know Charmus reviewed, but he borrowed it from Comic Figure Addicts, and um, all my friends that have it are like really far away. So this is my first time up close and actually touching a Hulk Buster. This is amazing. I've waited years for this. Wow. Holy cow. This is a beast. Okay, so before we take Veronica out, I almost forgot. So you do get an additional battle damage piece, like how it was in the movie. So I think that's really awesome. I might display it with the battle damage piece, like for the Hulk, since I'm going to pose it with the, um, oh, Cassie, with the Hulk Buster. Oh, thank you, Charmus. I'm glad that Charmus is here. And Moon Second Channel, I miss you. Oh my god. I know, uh, I waited a long time for this. I saved up. I really, really wanted this guy. So, this, you get all the batteries. This is all the batteries. This is going to be fun. No, it's not. So, that's the only thing, my least favorite thing to do. Any iron, like... I love Hot Toys Iron Man figures, but I don't love it. I miss the good old days back when they used to install the batteries for you. I really miss that so much. And people had to complain, well, you leave the batteries in there, they can corrode. I never had that problem before. It's if you leave the figures in a really hot place, maybe, but I don't. Hey, Arlocon, miss you, Andy. I miss you guys, but yeah. Let's get out Veronica. Oh my god. Veronica needs to lose some weight. I feel bad saying that to a lovely lady, but she's still very beautiful. I don't mind a woman with some... Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, she's she has some weight to her. Oh my god. So, yeah. Take off the plastic pole. Oh, something with that. Oh wow, something came off. What is this? Oh boy. Um, hold on. Let's let's take off. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Wow. I love um so one you guys to meet my daughter, Veronica. <laughs> yes. So yeah, and they uh, when I, I, my buddy Budget Stark watched his uh, series, The Hulk Buster, he said the best way to hold him is on the legs because that's the most stable part. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this, this is, I think this this guy is bigger than Charmus' daughter, uh, Nugget. Oh, man. Seriously. <laughs> right, Charmus? You think that he's bigger <laughs> than, than your daughter? I swear. It's like, yeah, I probably, maybe, well, she's growing, but, you know, like, at maybe this given time, I mean, damn. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, wow. I, this figure is going to be a workout. I'm really happy to have it, but, man, it's going to be set to work out. I'm going to be taking out things for the next, like, hour so I can just even move it around. So you gotta remove all this protective stuff. Yeah, yeah, Veronica. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm really happy to share Mr. I miss him so much. Um, you know. So I'm really happy he got to go to Toy Fair. Um, by the way, um, I, I, all the Toy Fair stuff that I covered. You know, I always thank Chardonnay, JC, Sedan for their coverage. Um, 
as a guy that's been a toy fair, if I wasn't hired like Sardamus was or Crystal Down, I probably, I would, I've learned I'd never do toy fair just as my own. It's not like Comic Con where it's like the experience is just so amazing that it's like, oh, yeah, even if it costs me money, it's worth going. Toy fair, it's like I can admire the stuff in pictures, but if I can't buy it already, then there, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. So I got to give it up. I know, yeah, I really want to meet uh, Nugget. She's so adorable. She's so beautiful because Char Char Mission and Charlita are a beautiful couple. So, of course, they would have a beautiful daughter. Mm. Mm. But, yeah, I give it, uh, I give major props to Charlemis, JC, all the people who work at Toy Fair because it's work. Taking those pictures is a lot of work, you guys. I love, I, I know what it's like. And, when I went in 2012, I didn't get to meet up with Hasbro and Mattel. So, yeah, I'm really lucky that they at least got to meet up with everyone. And, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, you know, I said, I haven't seen Pixel Dan in years. Or, yeah, it's been like at least a year or so because I miss them at Comic Con. I don't go to PowerCon anymore. So, I, I'm really sad. Oh, Latrina well, Mines is here. Yay. And, hold on, I'm going to let Chewie out because it's going to just bother me. Charmus knows, uh, you know, having a baby, babies cry, but dogs bark, and it's not the same, but it's very similar. So, yeah, especially when you're trying to work, it's the hardest thing when you work at home and you have to deal with a baby crying or a dog barking or your cats meowing, whatever. So, oh my God, this thing, so heavy. <laughs> Hold on. Wow. I, I closed my door to keep my roommate's dog out because he's awesome, but he's so big and he's he's peed in my room a few times. So yeah, okay. So back to Veronica. Oh my god, this is look at. Oh my god, I feel bad where I'm. Oh, and there he is. There's a uh, there's Samson. Hi, Samson. Samson, can you chill? I'm I'm doing a live video. He is awesome. Yeah. So. Sorry, Mr. You're very lucky. You only have one uh, little one that um, makes noise. I have to deal with six animals in my house, and yeah, so it's um, it, it could be interesting times. So. <laughs> uh, I love them so much, and especially Chewy. He's kept me, um, he's kept me grounded and kept me uh, happy and keep going through these hard times. I mean. Toys are awesome, but they don't cuddle with you at night and and give you so much love. Then yeah, yep, yeah. Uh, my roommates have two cats and a dog, and I have two cats and a dog. So yeah, we have like we're gonna be. Oh, and look, there's Chitara. I don't know if you can see her. She's like her. Yeah, she's like right there. Look at her butt. She's mooning the audience. What the heck? Okay. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? See, this is what I'm doing. Like, my cats, or, like, three of the four cats love to go in my closet. I don't know what that says about cats. They love to be in the closet. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Well, where do we begin? Well, I don't have the batteries in. Uh, short miss, how long did it take you to install the batteries? And you know what? I can imagine for you doing the review, um... Uh, Juan was happy to let you <laughs> like install the batteries because that's not fun. It's not fun. I, I, I hate it. I'm not looking forward to installing the batteries. I don't think I'm going to do it on camera. Maybe uh, after I look, read the instructions, but yeah. You can. I'm like really worried about like, okay, so there you go. So you can see this is where um, oh, we got this uh, foam thing. And Chitara is being a um I was going to say a uh, profanity, 45 minutes. Yep, that's not going to happen on camera. <laughs> Maybe we'll install a few, but yeah. But yeah, Chitara, can you stop being a a butthole? There you go. That's that's more PG. <laughs> stop being a butthole. Thank you. Do you know Chitara is almost four, and she still causes the most problems out of all my pets? Yeah. I, you had to take them out? What? No! Oh, hell no! I'm just like, 
I haven't even replaced the batteries in my Hot Toys. I'm just like, okay, it just doesn't light up anymore. I don't care. I'm, it's, you know, I really wish there was a way, um, like there's that Soap Studio thing you can attach where you can just, you know, light up everything without having to install batteries. I'm, I'm going to make a video about that soon. But yeah, I, I cannot, I, I'm not looking forward to installing all these batteries, especially for something this big. But um, yeah, but wow, where do we begin? So let's, let's be careful. Clicky click. Veronica's saying hi. Hi. <laughs> Trying to give a high five. I love these joints though. Oh man. By the way, don't you love that she has the four finger hands instead of the, the five? I I find that interesting. I mean, it may you know, you don't have to do it, but yeah. Oh yeah. You gotta put the gauntlets on. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, so all right. Let's let's open up the instructions because just like me and Charmis always say, read your instructions before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. So let's so beautiful. Man. I feel like Santa and this is like a kid on my lap right now. What do you want for Christmas, bro? Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh man, be patron. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Yeah. So yeah. Um Wow. I mean, let's let's just take a look. I'll try to show this as much. Yeah, definitely hold it by the legs. Look at how beautiful she is. Definitely call it a she. By the way, did you guys know, fun fact, the reason why they called her Veronica, because Bruce, um, love, you know, his, one of his love interests was Betty Ross, so Veronica would be the one to get in between them. I understand that Archie reference, but I kind of thought it was dumb. You know, they never once call him Hulkbuster. In fact, do you know in a lot of the Marvel movies, they don't really call, um, you know, they don't really, you know, except for Hawkeye's wife, they never once called Clint Barton Hawkeye. Uh, Josh Whedon and a lot of, you know, like the Russo brothers, they don't, in, unless it's like, you know, it's easy for Cap because everyone loves calling him Cap, but they don't really call the superheroes by their last uh, name. You know, Black Panther they did, but it's like always T'Challa, you know, it's always like, you know, Barnes, Bucky, uh, uh, Sam, you know, it's, you know, I don't know. I, I, I find that interesting because they have such cool names. So why would you call it? Who wants to be just called Sam? Who wants to be called like, you know, um, Lang? <laughs> you know, call me Edman. I mean, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. That's that's just my little nitpick with with the Marvel movies. It's just like, yeah, because um, yeah, they only call him. Yeah, I know. They never call it Iron Man. I mean, yeah. You, you especially, I know that. All, except for like Spider-Man and like uh, Daredevil, no one has a secret identity, but you know, why would you always want me called your normal name? I mean, I like my name, but I wouldn't, I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent of this. I don't know why, but I'm just like, oh, I just find it dumb. Okay. Oh my God. Ugh. This is exhausting. <laughs> I swear. Okay, let's read the instructions. I'll put on the gauntlet. Yeah, uh, they called her, like Tony called her, don't let that witch get to you, but they never call her Scarlet Witch. It's like, we know they're cool on the toys. If it wasn't for toys, like, you know, we we never know, we would just say like it's a Hot Toys Wanda, you know? A Hot Toys Petro, you know? You know what's that? It's like, thank God for toys, right? If it, Like, think about it, back in the day, if it wasn't for the Star Wars toys, we would have just called... Palpatine the Emperor. That's it. He's never called Palpatine in the movie. Did you notice that? In Return of Jedi or any of the Star Wars films, they always call him the Emperor. They never call him Palpatine. It wasn't until the prequels. So thank you for the toys so we knew what his name was. So toys, even though they can, you know, like especially Lego and, and like the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Giant Man, they give away spoilers they're awesome for naming characters that would just under otherwise be called Wanda and whatnot. So 
I'm gonna do this. I literally have this on my lab, standing on my lab. So, oh boy. Oh, is that what that was? That's the back. Okay. So this piece that fell off, that's the back of the whole quest. I was wondering what that was. And then I just realized, oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put in some batteries. Now, how much does this cost? So if you guys are wondering, this normally was like 825, which is not bad at all, but a lot of retailers, including Big Bad Toy Store, because of how this put is sold out on Sideshow and so many places. Big Bad Toy Store is selling it for 11, um, 1100 uh, and I had store credit and, and a bunch of them, um, and I saved up for this. I've been saving up this for the last few months. Um, so, yeah, it, for that price, for how big this is, look, what are those? <laughs> Sorry, I absolutely love that line. That's one of my favorite lines in Black Panther. What are those? No, no. What are those? What are those? Oh my god. Even doing this joke is like, I swear, I think this figure weighs more than what I what I bicep curl. Yeah. I think they were saying it was around 30 pounds. Yeah, this has to be. This this weighs as much as Chewy, I know. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, this, this feels like I'm carrying Chewy. Aw. Can you tell she has my eyes? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I saw Black Panther four times. And, yeah. Oh, talk to you later, Charmis. Thanks for joining me. Love you, man. Miss you. Um, yeah. So let's take... Um, okay, let's... Oh, man. How long do we be doing this for? Whew. Okay, so we got the pants. I don't think I've even taken out all the, the plastic things, but we're gonna um, install the batteries. So I'm guessing we have nine of the really big batteries. Yeah, oh yeah, my favorite line from Black Panther is, I don't care. That was actually in Civil War, Logan, when he's talking, yeah, I love that line too. I, I like that, um, oh it is, it sold out, then I was probably the one that bought the last one. Uh, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, man. I, oh, you know what happened, too? When I was looking to buy this... Um, yeah, let me check right here. Yep, it sold out. Damn. I'm sorry, you guys. So, I don't... Oh, my phone. I don't know where you can buy this. At the, I mean, there's a few places. There's people on the, like, on, on the Facebook forums that are selling this so there some of them are only selling for like 900 which is not that bad shipping would be costly though so watch out oh boy yeah what are those yeah but yeah um I, I i love that black panther isn't like every marvel most of the marvel heroes where they're all quippy they even make thor like that and that, that still bothers me i know people love ragnarok but i we don't need every will make some superheroes like Spider-Man or even Iron Man, you know, different from other superheroes is that they're, they're, you know, they're quippy and stuff. But if you make every hero like that, it doesn't make, you know, it's like Josh Whedon, I love him, but he does that a lot where he, he wants every character to be Han Solo. But if every character is Han Solo, then what makes Han Solo special? You know, you need different personalities. You need your Luke, your Leia's, your, your Chewie's, your c 3 Ghosts. You need, different personalities if everyone just quip is quippy then it just it's it you're just watching like an snl sketch you know yeah mock i as much as people love dragon rock it was my least favorite i even liked lego batman and yeah lego batman was in itself a comedy but it was a more heartfelt comedy and it even took itself more seriously than ragnarok i i just was a i i don't want to go on a whole ragnarok rant but it's like it's one of those movies that it's if that was the tone of thor from the beginning i wouldn't have mind but the fact that you just change up it's thor has had three different directors four if you count um you know avengers but uh, you don't have to change everything that made thor special 
you know, like I said, I like the more Shakespearean, the stoic Thor. And I like that Black Panther did that. I'm so happy that Black Panther kept the character more serious and grounded. There was humor, but it wasn't just T'Challa being making one-liners, you know? I'm a big fan of one-liners, but you don't need to um, just, like, make every character, like, a wise-ass. It's just, yeah. It, it's like, um, I forgot, like, Just Right, they made a whole thing about bathos and like even dr strange like you know that moment where you know he puts on the cape and then the cape just like messes with him it's funny but it kind of makes a dramatic moment not as dramatic anymore you know anyway i can make a whole video about that so yeah let me oh man there's a lot of um magnet parts on here so be careful when you're installing your batteries back here yeah it was it's a good thing that you realized that now yeah I know Black Panther really redeemed Thor Ragnarok because, like I said, I don't think Thor Ragnarok's a bad film, but I don't think it's nearly as great. At, like I said, people that enjoy the film, great, but I don't think, like, if people like it more than Wonder Woman, then, yeah, you just don't like, you don't like serious superhero films. You might as, if you like Thor Ragnarok, but you hate Batman and Robin, then that is... That is really contradictory because Thor Ragnarok is pretty much on almost the same level as Batman Robin. Yeah, that's how that's how crazy it is. Yeah, I know you think about, but it is so much. You know, yeah, it it really is. I mean, I can't I can't deny that really. I don't know how this became like a Thor Ragnarok thing, but yeah, I'm installing batteries in this, so don't worry, you guys. I'm I'm not gonna just be ranting about Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> So let's see, does this light up? Oh yeah, so I got um, the arc reactor lit up, you guys, yay. One down, 20 to go. I don't know, it, it feels like there's at least 20 uh, things that have been installed. This doesn't even line up the back. Oh no, it does. Oh, I am not even looking. So most of the, yeah, look at that. Oh man, he doesn't skip back day. Baby got back. Oh yeah, look at that token butt, yeah. Very nice. I like a lady with a nice bootay. Man, I'm sorry. I feel bad for uh, objectifying my my Veronica. Sorry. But yeah, very beautiful. Oh, man. And we have so, so we, where do we even begin, you guys? Where do we even begin? So I'm probably going to just install like another few batteries. I, I can't do all of this. This is crazy. So I'm going to turn this off for now. Oh my God. I know. Oh man. So is this the right way? I think so. Yeah, this is all held together. Okay. I think I yeah, put it this way. Ooh, no, hold on. Sorry. I'm putting the back flap back on. You no, know, probably the other way. Yeah, the other way. So I'm making sure I put this in the right way. I think that's right. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh man, so read your instructions. We gotta figure out what's next. I know, right? It is, oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Oh man. So yeah, I will be doing bringing back my lengthier reviews for Hulkbuster and I'll do a quickie review of them too. Uh, oh boy. All right, so let's do the head. I have to set him down on the ground. Oh man, why do you guys have a bone right here? Come on. Ugh. He stands really, or she stands. I want to call her a she because her name's Veronica. She stands good. Now, if Tony goes inside Veronica and she's a she, is that, that's, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what is with me. Unscrew and open the barrier. Okay. Okay, so it is this thing. So I'm going to try my best to at least install the head batteries. And I cut my nails just the other day. That's the only thing. Don't you hate that when you're dealing with toys and you cut your nails and then you can't get things that normally are like super easy to get to? But thank God, 
I don't know if this works because it's plastic. I wish these were like metal. They do give you that tool that's come with many Iron Man figures to, to pry things open. I don't know how well it'll come out. How big is the thing? Okay, it is pretty. Okay, so it goes from there. Oh, okay, okay. Whoa! Nothing's broken. So, like I said, this is really hard to show on camera because I have Veronica on the floor. So we are going to use the uh, AGR or the LR41 1.5. So that's the... Um, Wait, which so many batteries? Oh my god. Um, LR936. Wait, which LR41? Okay, so it's it's the the Hulkbuster's head gets the bigger batteries again. I thought they would use like the bigger batteries for the uh, the repulsors because the hands are so big. I know, so that's a small tool, <laughs> seriously, right? Okay, let's use the little screwdriver. Oh my god. Yeah, pretty much um, besides my cell video, my, my next video is going to uh, I, I am working on a, um, uh, want to give a little, um, before I do the undertaking of reviewing the whole cluster, since I'll need time to install the batteries and everything, I am reviewing my Nendoroid Mercy, who Mercy is my bae. She's my main in Overwatch, and I'm so happy to have a Mercy figure. I know, I'm I'm really upset that the pop figure that they're doing on Mercy is in Wave Three. Wave Three, Mercy should have been in Wave One. They should have, they did like Lucio and Symmetra over Mercy. I mean, I love them, but not Mercy is like one of the most popular characters in Overwatch for good reason. She's beautiful. She's sweet. She is one of the best characters both in the game and in, um, you know, the lore. And yet, I mean, she's the reason why Genji is, like, looks as awesome as he does. But yet, they pop, Funko, what is with you? Why would you wait, like, to put her wave three? I, I just don't get it. Anyway, um, but that's why I, I'm probably going to pick up the pop and keep one in my desk and the keep her with my Overwatch figures, but I hope they do a Figma. I really love the Figma Tracer, and I really want them to do a Figma Mercy. I would buy all the Overwatch characters in Figma, but I will get the ones in Nendoroid, like I'm gonna get the Nendoroid uh, May, and then, um, yeah, the even though I got the Pop Diva, I probably get the Nendoroid Pop and Definitely uh, Hanzo, and I may get the Figma Genji. Even though it's going to be weird that Hanzo looks like you know big, big-headed baby, and Genji just looks awesome <laughs> as his regular self. Thank you, Ethan. Um, Ant Man or the Wasp? Um, I really love the Wasp a lot. Ant Man is awesome too. I love Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lowe, but I would definitely Wasp can fly and shoot blasters. You have that tech ready for me? I like it. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I think they only need two for the head. Oh, no, you do need three. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so he doesn't use the big ones. He uses the second big ones. Is, am, wait, hold on. It says they use the um, LR... Four, four. Oh, okay, yeah. So I have to use the the small, the second, the uh, biggest one. That makes sense. This is so much technical crap that you have to deal with when having a hot toy sphere. Okay, so I was wrong again. It's not the the second biggest one. So I guess his head. You just just like all the other Iron Man heads, just use the regular smallest ones, which are the yeah, the LR four ones. So he uses three. I was very shocked. I would think that they would use like the bigger ones, but I like the, with how big this thing is. I would think they're just using like triple A or double A batteries, but whatever. But the reason they're not is because you can fit a freaking Mark forty three in inside of her. <laughs> that is crazy. I did not expect that when they first announced it here. I don't think that was their initial plan, and then they decided. <laughs> Chewy, 
And then they decide, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make. Whoa, what? Whoa. Okay, guys, sorry. I think, yeah, my roommate's home. That's why they're, they're, uh, they're doing that. Okay, so I did not expect, I did not expect the Mark, the, the whole cluster to fit a Mark 43. So let me put the batteries in. This will work. Yes. Okay. Let me put the head. Hey, what's up? I know, right? So big, man. <laughs> yes. I'll show you after my live show. Yeah, uh, no, you're good. Oh, yeah. Don't bother me. oh, no, it's all good. You're awesome. <laughs> my roommate's saying hi. Okay, let me saw the head back. Okay, let me put... Okay, so I'm gonna switch this on. Okay. And then look at the, there's the eyes. And then I'll turn on the uh, the front. So so that's just all that time just install the headlights, the headlights and the uh, chest light. So, wow, so crazy. Oh my God, oh my God. What time is it? Okay. So, yeah, I'll probably do this live show for another 15 minutes or so. I'm going to walk Chewy. I wanted to do this show before um, walk Chewy. Like, so I can't, this is just more of the unboxing segment of the show. Um, normally, I could show off everything like a long review, but I'm going to do a long review of this guy later. But let's, let's, Okay, let's take a break from installing batteries and just kind of show off. Oh boy, oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. No, it's, so many things to install. Oh, have to install in the bus. Oh my god, this is crazy. I have to take off things. Oh my god, I'm like the problem with something like this big, expensive, and has so many pieces, you don't want to just like prematurely open things up or mess with things. Like the instructions are literally like, I think this is like, has to be at least like 20, 30 pages of details of just like, oh yeah, do this, do that, you know? I'm like, okay, dang. And then, uh, yeah, oh my God. Yeah, there's there's so many ways to display it. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I feel like Owen Wilson. Wow, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm just like yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a an actual Sean Long review. Oh my god. But let me uh, let's see. We haven't dang it. I've I haven't even gotten to the part where you can pose it and stuff like that. Oh, you can't pose the. The hand like 360 degrees. I mean arms, yeah. Yeah, so it's about like 30 degrees. Uh, do not spread the legs, the two legs apart. I don't know what that means. Let the feet pull down. Yeah, so it's, it is quite a bit. Yeah, 10 um, kgs, which I think is like, yeah, 25 pounds, so yeah. I know, I got it. Ah, this is a small child, and oh, I just dropped um, back piece again. Sorry. This thing is huge. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I still can't believe I have this after all this time. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, yeah, I at least have a new lady in my life, Veronica. So, yeah. I mean, look at this thing. So, I'm like holding it like a baby. <laughs> it's so crazy. Okay. Um, wait, can I put the gauntlets on? I want to try to at least put the gauntlets on and then pose it. And I'll go from there. And then I'll, try, I'll install the lights and whatnot afterwards. Okay. It seems like it's pretty easy to attach, yeah. You just have like two tabs in the back here. I know, it's pretty massive, man. Yeah, so that's left, so let's put on the right arm. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, 
So let me put in the tabs. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Very easy. Okay, let's show this. So we have the tabs. And yeah. Okay, let's. Oop. Make sure it wind up. You don't want to break this. Oop. Well, I guess it didn't attach as much as I thought it would. So make sure it's fully in before you just let it go. But luckily, I have carpet in my room, so that's good because that would be bad. Oop. Okay, this is a. Uh... Yeah, hold on. Oh man, why is why is this being like so difficult? The last, the first one, like oh, went in so easy, and it falls, and then this one will not go in. No, Chewy, what do you? Oh, Chewy's just coming back in. Hold on. Ugh. Hold on, sick guys. Let me uh, put the right one back in first, and then I'll. Why did you not stay in this one? God, I don't want to break. Okay. I think. Ooh. I'm like, I'm just so nervous not to break anything, you know? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Clip in. Okay, cool. This one seems like it's 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 better. Feels feels secure now. Yay! Now let's do the same for this one. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're amazing, Batman Williams Hero Lemon. That's a long name. No, no, it was in the right arm. There, it's hard to tell, but it has like a little L. Like there's the L right there. Oh, right there. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah. It, it, it was in the right one. Or the right one was in the right one, and now the left one's going to the left one. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. It, it's kind of like the way the grooves are, it's like in this weird... Yeah, so there we go. It, it clips into place. It just, yeah. Oh, the problem is taking these off. I, I think... To, wow. I'm just like... Holy crap. Oh yeah, or I gotta, I gotta take out this foam, take out this foam right here so you can kind of, and there's like a cardboard piece in here too, hold on. Yeah, I have to take out like a bunch of stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. So I'm kind of like, I should, I should really read the instructions before I do this, but whatever. I'm being very careful. Yeah, there's a, there's like um, a thing to fill in the gap. It's like, I guess they included it, so if you don't have any intention to put like a, uh, I don't know, like a bus or your Mark 43 in here. Oop, there you go, okay. So let me clip this in. Kind of, the head does rotate. It feels like, watch, it's like, hi, I'm Veronica, nice to meet you. <laughs> so you can kind of do that, but. Um, yeah, so you can put the head, it, it does have, yeah, you can like, yeah, there we go, prop it up. Um, so I'm guessing like all, ooh, all this stuff right here fills in this like black cardboard thing because um, otherwise there would be like a deep hole in there. So that makes sense. So that's why they have it in there for now. So let's just show some of the possibility. I know. So the head, whoop, the head does go up and down a little bit. It um, it does move left and right. So that's awesome. These shoulder joints are massive, so massive. They have so many moving pieces. So you can move it in and out. Wow, Ugh. punch in. Yeah, so. You can't move it in and out that much. It's really good range, really. I mean, seriously, for something that will also have 
a uh, articulate die cast figure in. So you can rotate this 360 degrees. Hey -o. <laughs> Yeah, so damn. And then bending it at the elbow. A good, yeah, pretty much 90 degrees. And he has that his joints you can move around right here. So that's awesome. And you can also, um, yeah, you can also rotate it at the bicep. So that's awesome. The wrist, uh, of course, you have so many things with the gauntlets that move around that um, I have to really, I, I'm really going to play with the figure before I, like, show off that. But I know the hands, they go in and out, they rotate, and the thumb has three points, the finger has four points. So, yeah, so let me make a fist here. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a workout just to pose this guy. They, actually, I've heard people say if you have a friend to help you pose it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I just can't believe I have this. I mean, wow. I, I'm just in awe right now of, of how beautiful this is right now. And really, I, yeah, I got to move things around because right now, um, yeah. Oh boy. Okay, so yeah, so you can see you can do a fist. Poof. <laughs> it is crazy. That is amazing. I'm just like in awe right now. That's that's how you should be when you buy something like this. You should if you're not in awe of this thing, then you shouldn't own it because nothing makes you happy. I'm just like I'm just like this has to be my favorite figure now. And I, I don't, I know, you know, that's saying something, but yeah, like just with handling this and how beautiful it is, I know it's easy because it's big, but it's not just because it's big, but just how well engineered, how beautiful it is, how much, how much functionality there is to it. And yeah, like I said, I won't be able to do the most dynamic poses, but think about it, you know, with something like this big, and how it was in a movie, it's like, you know, the fact it can pull off so many cool poses is just, yeah. You know, like, um, I, oh, man, I'm just like, I, I can't believe it, man. The go to sleep, oh, yeah, the go to sleep thing, the uh, the rock arm, it doesn't come with that. I mentioned that in the beginning, but um, I know it probably would have made the figure, like, it probably would have added, like, another at least $100 on the figure and I don't know if people would vote. Some people would, I can imagine, but it would be so hard to pose something so towering over, you know, to do that pose, it would, it, it's one thing to do for a smaller figure, but something so big, it would, it would just, it would be too hard. So I can understand. So I have two minutes left on my Instagram one. I know I didn't get to show off all the articulation yet. I really have to, I know, yeah, it moves left or a little bit left and right, which is awesome. So I know if you have the Mark 43 in here, it does hinder the articulation. So that's something to keep in point because I believe the figure, the legs do go in there. So I do believe, yeah, you can move the legs a bit. Um, it's really, it's just, yeah, it's really hard to pose the legs. Uh, yeah, the legs um, can be moved forward in a, when in 30 degrees. So it only moves... 30 degrees, and then I know the knees can bend a little bit. Or then, yeah. Yeah, so I know I know there is leg articulation, but yeah, it is really one of those things that you're mostly going to pose the upper body. It's not going to be like a lot of super dynamic. If anything, I just wanted to, to do the fist bump pose. So, but yeah, I, I can see... Um, and I know that he has like the toe articulation. I, I'm, I'm playing around with it right now, like the back toes, and it has heel articulation. Oh, and here we go, more stuff to take out. That was in the foot. So yeah, it does. Wow, lots of joints in the heels. It has like even some ankle pivot. Um, so yeah, I will do a full review talking about. It, but for I'm gonna be live on YouTube for a little bit longer, probably like another 10 minutes. But um. On Instagram, uh, go to my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Sean X Long to see more of this video. And 
make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Vero. It's all Sean X Long. And uh, for Instagram, you guys have a great day. Uh, look forward to my review of Natural Aid Mercy as well as my Hot Toys Hulk Buster. Have a great day, Instagram. Now for YouTube. Hi, Instagram. Yeah, so, um, yay, let me share this video. Oh my god, it's okay. Hold on, let me put down Veronica a second. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. My goodness, it's going to be a lot. And I mean a lot of, um, of uh, posing, you guys. Oh man. Uh, it's going to be a workout. So much of a workout. On silently. Okay, let me let's fix this. Okay. All right. So, um, Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like the long hair. I love it. I've had long hair way before YouTube. I think it's longer than I've ever had it now. But I know, I'm doing a Winter Soldier cosplay. I'm doing uh, Eraserhead from My Hero Academia. I'm doing Casey Jones. By the way, you guys like my, did you see my Casey Jones NAS review? Pretty awesome, right? I love this Casey Jones mask. So cool. Love it. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at Chewy with my Casey Jones mask. So, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, I have a lot to play around with Veronica. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, I got her fist bump. La, 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 la. Yeah, so um, it's really going to take some time. I'm gonna play around with her. I gotta put in all the batteries. I gotta really test out. Whereas other figures with Hot Toys, you pretty much know what you're gonna get. And I can, you know, play around with the figure without worrying about things. But I really, the biggest thing I can say, and I'll say this when I review this, read your instructions, especially for something like this. And there's so many pieces, like I don't wanna like really open it up without reading the instructions first. And, and then I'll I'll go from there. And I, I gotta install the battery. So um yeah, the review for this won't be for today. It'll be in the next day or two. Uh but yeah, I will definitely do a long review for this guy for you guys because I want to do this right. And I've been waiting for this guy for so long. But I wanted to do the unboxing for you guys. I'm gonna really just want to show you the process, what you have to deal with, you know. Uh, Sorry that this sold out of Big Bad Toy Store. So wherever you guys get this from, whether it's Big Bad Toy Store or not, oh my God, Chitara, what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, Chitara, Jesus. Chitara. Let me get Hulk Buster. So yeah, yeah. Um, Zobi, what's up? You're the king. My king. <laughs> yes, I love Black Panther so much. So... Um, yeah, I uh, besides Nendoroid Mercy, which will be like a precursor to this review. Um, yeah, I plan to do uh, you know Hot Toys Harley Quinn, Hot Toys Doctor Strange, Hot Toys Strax the Destroyer, Hot Toys Batman from Arkham Knight. So I <laughs> sorry, I heard Chewy. Just, Chewy. Yeah, sorry. Um, Anyway, so Veronica is amazing. I'm so happy to have her. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. I can't believe this. Um, yeah, I, oh, all the cat, oh my God. I wish I can show you that Chitara, I have the, 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 um, the box, uh, what's it called, the, the insert or the sleeve, the box sleeve of the Hulkbuster and Chitara is inside of it and it's adorable and oh my god it's a hot toys um cat buster <laughs> oh my gosh anyway oh you guys are funny i swear cats man um so any other questions before 
I go and walk Chewy, and I'm gonna work on the Nandroid Mercy. Um, yeah, anything you guys uh, wanna know? I really appreciate you watching me unbox this. This was amazing. Uh, this thing, oh yeah, let's let's see how tall this is. I know this is like at least 20 inches or something, so. Yeah, 22 inches. Yep, almost, yeah, over, almost like 22 and a half inches, maybe 23. Yeah, almost 23 inches, there we go. That's how big freaking Veronica is. I know. So crazy. Okay. So I still, I can't believe it. Jazzy R, what's up? So any other questions, you guys? And then I'll answer questions for the next five minutes. Then I'm going to get ready to watch Chewy. And this sold out a big bad toy store, sadly. But I know a few people selling Hulkbusters if anyone's interested. It's on Facebook. And they're all like when in Arizona or New York or whatever. But yeah, this is so awesome. I, I, I just can't believe this. This thing is so massive. It's like, this is what I know what it's like to have a baby. <laughs> I mean, I mean, too, he's like a baby, but you know, I mean, like a person humanoid wise. Okay, so any other questions, you guys? Um, I still got a, a lot of great uh, videos I'm going to do, like a top 10 things that Hot Toys needs to do, top 10 uh, things they need to change in Overwatch, top 10 uh, Marvel villains. Shout out to Lam Liebras. I apologize for saying that. I said some things the autonomous. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Let me uh, before we go, I'll turn back on the lights because this thing is so beautiful, and I'm going to yeah. Shout out to Batman Williams Chris Limited. Let me turn on the lights in the back here. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is this? Something fell. I don't know what it's from. Oh man, I hope nothing broke. Yeah, so be very careful with your Hulkbuster, you guys. And I gotta move this up a little bit. What the heck? Be oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Move that up a little bit. There we go. That looks cool. Oh man. And then there's the, see, I'm still discovering all these things I have to figure out. Jeez. Yeah, all the lights. Oh my god, it's gonna be a process, you guys. It's gonna be a process. What are you doing, Chitara? Okay, where is, uh, I need to find, um, for it in the show. Hold on, Hold on you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, this thing's heavy. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to find that back flap for the batteries. Hopefully, yeah, always be careful not to drop things, you guys. Oops. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's good. I found it. I'm just gonna keep this off now and then yeah, figure out what that piece was for. 
Oh man, so be very careful. Pieces fall always super glued. That's what happens. Anyway, if there's no more questions, yeah, there are Power Ranger PJs I got from Lootware a while back. Yeah, so very awesome. Fist bump, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to. Come on, Katara. Man, these things are so beautiful. Oh my God. It's so freaking heavy. So heavy. Where would that piece even go? I'm like. I'm like trying to figure out the piece that fell off in my hand. Maybe. Wow, the bottom of the feet are freaking amazing too. Chitara! Chitara! Jesus! I'm trying to figure out what. what? Don't you hate it when you don't know like what where that piece gone? I'm like, okay. Chitara! Seriously. Oh my god. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I'm about to end the show and I'll bring this out to you guys. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, guys. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's heavy, guys. This thing weighs if as much, if not more, than Chewy, and that's saying something. He's, he's plastic with some die cast, so. He has some weight to him. So if you ever get this, just know it's going to be heavy. It's going to be a workout to pose them, to put in the batteries. Um, yeah, I love Wonder Woman so much, by the way. So, yeah. So I will review. Oops. Be very careful of all these pieces. You always want to be careful with you guys. I still got to figure out what that piece found out or where that's from or maybe it was from the inside maybe it's from the inside yeah so always be careful you guys yeah but this thing is so amazing can't believe it you guys i finally have hot toys hulkbuster so i'm um, with that and i'll just uh, who's your favorite Nin ninja turtle Raphael? Um, and I don't mind that they made him the leader in the Rise of the Ninja Trolls. Yeah, I'm going to uh, do more live shows this week. I got an unboxing of those ubiquitous figures. I got um, a Kingdom Hearts unboxing to do. So stay tuned for that. Um, I got the uh, Nendoroid Mercy uh, to review later. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing a lot of reviews again. Uh, I've been doing lots of reviews. You know, I did the Marvel Legends, Black Panther Wave, the Akoi Wave, um, you know, Tracer, uh, you know, did the Casey Jones mask. So I've been giving you guys lots of content. So I hope you guys support it. If you want to support the channel, I have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sean X Long. Um, if you want to put a dollar, I might have little things, perks for a Patreon user soon. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, um, check out BigBadToyStore.com where I got this figure. Even if you can't get this, they have a lot of cool Hope Buster stuff as well as other uh, hot toys, so check them out. And for more, check out uh, my website, SeanXLong.com. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They're both SeanXLong as well as Vero. And support the Patreon if you'd like to. Um, stay tuned for some great reviews, you guys, and as well, I got a, a sale video coming up. I'll be selling some more stuff. I got some Hot Toys for sale, including the Hot Toys DX 13 Battle Damage Terminator, my 3-0 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. I got Hot Toys Bat Pods for sale. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the 25th Anniversary Unicron for sale, or was it the 30th? I think it was the 30th Anniversary, yeah. And a lot of the great stuff. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, from, yeah, and I just want to say... Um, Thank you guys for watching, and I'm Sean Long, Mary Live Long, and bye-bye.